Good morning and greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements in my practice where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that renewing system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs or the longevity products or skin health issues or formulations or ingredients, or if you have a success story you want to share, if you want to contribute to the conversation, we want to hear from you. 844-236-6010 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. Let us help you change your life today. I'm dedicated to you and your health and the health of your family and loved ones. I've been doing this for 32 years. I've worked with many thousands of people. Not that it's rocket science here, folks. It's really quite simple, as we're going to talk about here in just a minute. Anyway, 844-236-6010 is our number, and please feel free to call in if you just have a comment or certainly a success story. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear recommended on the program or advertised on the program, please go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can order products right off the website, including our Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Makes a great Christmas gift. Makes a great gift for folks in nursing homes who aren't feeling well or... Just somebody you want to help. Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Osteo FX, the Healthy Start Pack, Bioluminite Nightly Essence, they're all available they're all available at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Okay. So last we spoke, we were talking about a health challenge, a complex of, of various symptoms that are given the umbrella term metabolic syndrome. It used to be called Syndrome X. Some people still call it Syndrome X. Metabolic syndrome can be thought of, in my opinion, as the single most important health crisis that we are facing, that really the entire planet is facing, at least in terms of non-infectious, long-term degenerative health challenges. It encompasses heart disease, strokes, heart attacks, hypertension. All cardiovascular health issues can be an aspect of metabolic syndrome, kidney disease, blood clots, obesity. That's the most important sign that metabolic syndrome and the symptomology of metabolic syndrome is starting to kick in. I'm, and I'm talking about not full-blown obesity, but even just starting to develop a gut where you never had one. Even just, you know, and that happens to most of us in our 30s. Most people in their 30s will start to develop a gut, even the leanest among us. And this is the beginnings of metabolic syndrome. Yesterday we said insulin is like a garage door opener for cells. Metabolic syndrome can be thought of as insulin resistance syndrome. Cells stop listening to the garage door opener. What happens then is cells starve. And because all disease is cell disease, this is where illness starts. Cells become malnourished following, secondary to, their resistance to the garage door opener, to insulin. They become starved. They become malnourished. They can't do their business. You're not going to hear about this uh, in advertising. You're not going to hear about this uh, in the news because you can't make money by resensitizing cells to insulin. Or at least you don't need to sell a product. You don't need to buy a product. It's very, very simple. Resensitizing the body, resensitizing cells to insulin is simple, it's easy, it's cheap, and it's the single most or 
I don't want to say the single most because working on the digestive system probably comes first. And by the way, insulin resistance follows digestive distress long term. So first comes the digestive system, then comes the blood sugar system. We talk about this every day. I've been talking about it for 20 years. First comes the digestive system, then comes the blood sugar system. I didn't even know what metabolic syndrome was. It didn't even exist when I first started talking about the importance of resensitizing your body to insulin. I learned about it because I used to be a bodybuilder. And bodybuilders and serious athletes and, and weightlifters, they know good and well about the importance of insulin. It is a big time building hormone, anabolic hormone. It feeds cells. It's a cell feeder. Of course it's going to be anabolic. I remember back when I was a hardcore weightlifter, I was working out. I wasn't really one of the big boys, but I was hanging out with the big boys. And I was always amazed by all the incredible scams they would pull just to get bigger and stronger. And if you're a bodybuilder out there or a weightlifter, you know what I'm talking about. Bodybuilders will do anything, or the serious ones, will do anything to get bigger, at least back in the day. And that includes steroids. And there used to be a guy who would go basically door to door, gym to gym, selling steroids. And, and he would also sell insulin. Insulin required a prescription. But weightlifters and bodybuilders, they were injecting insulin because insulin makes you bigger. Insulin is a bodybuilding hormone. And bodybuilders will do anything to get bigger. I'm certainly not recommending it. You know, farmers will sometimes give their cattle insulin to make them bigger. So insulin is an anabolic hormone, it's like testosterone in that way. They're both anabolic and they both work together and they're both antagonized by female hormone, by estrogen, which is made in body fat. If that's not a reason, folks, for men to lose body fat, I don't know what is. The more body fat you're carrying, the more anti-testosterone, anti-insulin effects you're going to have. The more feminized you're going to be, the harder it's going to be to bodybuild or to build a body, to build muscle. All your male functions are going to become suppressed as the more body fat you carry. Losing body fat is a natural Viagra, FYI. This is one of the reasons why it's so important to lose body fat if you want to be anabolic or you want to be building. Not only is body fat not attractive, it antagonizes insulin. It antagonizes testosterone. These days, so many people are interested in testosterone building. Andropause, they call it, where uh, a, ma a male version of menopause, where male hormones drop in guys the way female hormones drop in, in women when they go through menopause. They call it andropause, andro being the prefix for male. And andropause is marked by testosterone deficiency. So everybody wants to know, men, all men want to know how they're going to boost their testosterone. That's a no, if not the number one, it's close to the number one question that I get via email, how to boost testosterone. And there's lots of nutrients for doing it. But first and foremost, you want to think of it as an insulin and body fat issue. You don't need any fancy schmancy supplements to boost your uh, male hormone effects, boost your testosterone effects. The easiest and simplest way, and pr the first thing you want to do, even if you are going to use supplements, the first thing to do is drop body fat, eat less, body, uh, eat less uh, bread, eat less sugar, eat less cereals, eat less of the foods we all love, eat less of the foods we're all addicted to. In other words, what's going to happen is you're going to resensitize your body to insulin. You're going to resensitize your cells to insulin. Insulin resistance follows excessive secretion of insulin, which follows itself eating the crap, eating the sugar, eating the bread, eating the cereals. And I'm not a food Nazi here. I know I've said it before. I'm going to say it again. I eat it too. But I'm just saying, if you want to be anabolic, if you want to look for ways to boost your male hormones, if you want to become more masculine, and by the way, isn't it interesting how uh, seemingly governments want us domesticated by eating sugars? The, the culture wants us domesticated by eating bread. Bread is domesticating food. It's feminizing food. It's food that takes away our edge via this insulin effect. So anyway, eating less of these kinds of foods... All the foods we love, all the foods we're addicted to, all the foods we're encouraged to eat by governments and purveyors and marketers. and uh, By eating less of these foods, by using our willpower to eat less of these foods, and by eating more protein, by eating more anabolic foods, by eating more foods that don't have a dramatic effect on insulin, we will resensitize our body to insulin and resensitize our body to self-feeding effects, ultimately building things, becoming anabolic and boosting our testosterone at the same time. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. Thank you for listening to GCN. 
Be sure to visit GCNlive.com today. What is up? Welcome back to The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Our number, 844-236-6010. Got lines open for you, and I got a bunch of letters here from Dr. Glidden's appearance on Coast to Coast yesterday. It's going to go over some of those if we don't get calls. Anybody listen to him? I didn't get a chance to listen to him. I know I got a bunch of letters, so he must have sparked some controversy, or at least at least uh, curiosity. Anyway, uh, let's see. If you're interested in purchasing any of our longevity products, head over to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. And if you want to purchase any of our truth treatment products, or check out my skin health blog at truthtreatments.com. You can also purchase all the truth treatment products at truthtreatments.com. Truth Skin Health Inc. is what I call the company because it's about skin health. It's not about skin care. Skin care is baloney. Baloney. It's based on technology that's hundreds of years old, maybe even thousands of years old. Do you know the skin care that we use today, the cream and the lotion, the standard dispensing form of a skin care product was invented by the, a guy named Galen who was a Greek physician, Roman Greek physician, uh, in the year 200. And he mixed together a little almond oil and beeswax and water, rose water, and he came up with a cream. And he rubbed it on his skin. And he said, oh, my God, that's, that makes my skin soft. And from that point forward till today, we use creams and lotions and thinking in this, in this really not, not, not thoughtful way that we're actually changing our skin when we rub a moisturizer on. Folks, you're not changing your skin when you rub wax and oil and silicon and water and preservative and fragrance and a little bit active material. You're not changing anything about the skin. And there's not a lot of things that will change the skin. These are all things, uh, the ways, effective ways to manipulate the skin are only uh, require techniques that we've only understood recently. Basically, vitamin C and vitamin A. Anyway, you can find all about it at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. From, let's see, uh, from the journal Diabetes and Vascular Disease Research, diabetes drug could protect the heart. Hmm, interesting. New research has shown the promising potential of a new glucose regulating drug to protect the heart. Well, why do you think that is? Because diabetes drugs artificially lower blood sugar, artificially, pharmacologically, potentize insulin, thus demonstrating the critical nature of making your insulin more sensitive if you want to keep your heart healthy. It's part of metabolic syndrome. Folks, if you are on a statin drug, if you're on a blood thinning drug, if you're on a beta blocker or a calcium channel blocker and your doctor has not told you about metabolic syndrome, maybe you want to tell him about metabolic syndrome. If you're on any kind of heart medication and nobody has told you about lowering your blood sugar and restoring your, uh, your insulin sensitivity, you're being bamboozled. Not only now are you not doing anything for the final problem, for the ultimate problem, which is insulin sensitivity, but you're exposing yourself to toxicity that's going to further burden your body. So resensitizing cells to insulin is one of the single most important steps. Next to the digestive system, it is the single most important step in restoring your body back to health and stopping the progression of degenerative disease. Requires no doctors. Requires no medical intervention. It doesn't even require a lot of money. You know, we're encouraged to eat these kinds of insulin spiking foods, foods that that compromise our blood sugar and our insulin system. We're encouraged to eat these foods if you're traveling or you need some quick nourishment. You know, you may be able to get some burgers somewhere, processed meat, hot dog, or Arby's or something, maybe some fried chicken. But you're going to be very, it's very, going to be very difficult to obtain, uh, other than a, a hamburger or something like that, it's going to be very difficult to obtain quality protein and quality fat. Oh, you're going to find fries and breadsticks and pretzels and burritos. Uh, but there's just no money in quality protein and quality fats. But that doesn't mean we have to fall for it. You know, carry around some whey protein powder with you. Carry around some Slender FX with you. Carry around your ultimate EFAs. The ultimate EFAs and, and, the, uh, and the Slender FX and whey protein are incredibly satisfying. And they're pretty easy to travel around with. Potentizing insulin in large part is, is a, fact, a function of... Uh, Eating more protein, quality protein, eating more fat, quality fat, especially coconut oil, in my opinion, and micronutrition. 
and resensitizing cells to insulin. This is why anybody who's serious, who gets paid for, or who is just 